Trail talk, no field talk, man. It's going down. You said that Drake was the number one. He was the man. That's what you said. You said he was the man. He is, though. This don't take away. This battle don't take away from it. It don't take away from now if the facts or the uh, or, 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 or allegations, allegations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if the allegations are, you know, anyway factual, you know, and we seeing some things right now. Yeah. We seeing some things right now. It's a lot of shit going. I'm gonna tell you, my weird that, shit going on. DJ Academics, man. You know what? I'm gonna be real with you. Man. He look like that type of nigga, though. He, okay, he looked like. And we all I ain't know saying no like no this. rapist or something like that. Yeah, no. What I'm saying is he looked like the nigga that didn't get none in school. He got a platform now and he just over aggressive. Like, yeah, I, I can't nobody say nothing to me. I'm I ain't doing no illegal stuff, so I can do whatever I want. They ain't got yeah, no reason to bother. Yeah, I feel like that too. But he also that can't if in this situation at hand, he that nigga that all his homies hit the bitch. Yeah. And he come in exactly. And you know what I'm saying. Now he, he been he been with her, he been with her two years. The chick. He was with her two years. That's what he said. Oh, I don't know if the same one, but he said they said two years. He was with her. I hope it ain't. He's like he's like said. he was like they been fucking around for two years, and then his homeboy. He said he was sleep. He woke up. He looked on his camera. And he seen that they was under running the train on or whatever, oh, and all this shit. Flipper, and, flipper. Yeah. Damn. Damn. So he Damn. was the cuffer. He was cuff. He was he the cuff. So why why would she lie? If that's the case. Uh, but she do got a reason she could lie. Oh, I don't want. I didn't want him to find out that I was this type of girl. So, yeah. I mean, he knew. He had to know somewhere. He had to know somewhere, man. Yeah, he had to know something. Cause he damn so. Cause he don't come across. But why? What? Like he that. deleted his Instagram. See, man. Well, deactivate. I ain't gonna say delete it. Cause nigga ain't gonna never delete that motherfucker. Yeah. He gonna I mean, eat the act I mean, mentally, it might have took a toll on him. Yeah. It might have took a toll on him. But he was like, the facts gonna come and all this. And... His lawyer probably told him to get the fuck off social media for a while. Yeah, because the shit he was saying. He, he was too cocky too about much. shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Talk you talk too much. Like, you, you ain't supposed to be on there saying nothing, but I'm innocent. Right, right. Is I don't it? Know. What the fuck is going on? Court date is coming up. Yeah, yeah. Check the documents or whatever. We are on the public record. I tell you. You know what I'm saying? But all this shit, it's funny how all this shit stemmed from that little rap music. Then look, the Diddy shit. You saying his son? See his son, son needs to shut up. I don't think his son won't no smoke with nobody. No, nah, I'm saying he needs to shut up because yeah. he incriminated his dad. He said something about they hit our house, the feds hit our house, but they didn't know we bought the one next door, some shit like that. Like, what? Just young and dumb. Young and dumb. 50 having a field day. 50 is the world's pettiest person. And yeah. I love it. I don't know why I love it. I just love it. <laughs> he even got on Jay-Z today. He on Jay-Z top? Yeah, he said he posted a picture of Jay-Z uh, with the close-up picture on there, man. He said Jay-Z Jay -Z laying low until uh, Beyonce and, uh, I mean, to uh, Puff Daddy and them get to going with all this shit blow over or whatever. Oh, he said, I'm the only one outside right now. 50 definitely outside. <laughs> he, he definitely outside right now. Definitely done came to Shreveport. It ain't nothing but what, 35, 45 minutes away. Yeah, there. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Yeah, man. See uh Megan the Stallion, new little run she trying to bring on now. She got this got this new uh video. I don't even think Megan got the same juice no more. Oh yeah. I don't think Megan Stang got the juice no more. I think that uh, I think that Tory Lane situation took more out of her than what we think. I think it it, it shook a lot of people around. Her. Because it's more because it's more people. It's more people. I think that it's more people that don't believe us still. It's like it never was no proof proof to that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like it never was no actual. A one proof. It was just all everything. That whole case is speculation yeah. down there. Yeah. Ain't no video footage. It's, he said this, she said this, the other girl said this, but then she said this. Yeah, like it's, it's like, man, it's an ugly situation. Bro. I, I don't think it's an ugly situation for all of them. Tori got the the rawest deal though. If he didn't do that, he got the rawest deal ever, and he can't come to America when he get out.
Yeah, you you checked out four four bands. I ain't listen to it all, the whole thing yet. See, see, that's the problem with you, <laughs> niggas. You niggas don't. This this is an album. Like his album is an album. Like yeah. real talk, you gotta listen to that motherfucker in full yeah. to to understand the art of like what he doing. Like yeah, I nigga gotta go check him out fully. You know. Yeah, like you gotta cause. <laughs> from what I hear. He got like a, a a good nice little vibe. It's kind of vintage. Yeah, it's, and but it's a storyline. Like, yeah, man, he got a whole a video for the whole movie, like a short film for the yeah. whole thing, for the album. Yeah. And he playing the songs in there, and this that's what make you like, damn. If you listen to the album, then you seen it, or you heard seen it, this album you understand, like, damn, this nigga, like really, man, he wrote a movie. Right. Yeah. Right. Type shit. Okay, yeah. Man. Too. yeah. Right. And I seen Half Paint said earlier. He was like, uh, he dropped one of the best albums. They ever come out of DFW this this week, last week, and nobody seen it occur. I don't think it matters. Nah, it's it, number nine on the charts. Yeah, yeah. On all genres, in all genres. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it, I don't think that even matters. Nah, that part don't matter. I think he more won't. So, you know, it's one of them local things. Yeah. You know, when, we th when we think local, we think in country. But yeah. It's local in Dallas. And Hell Dallas, yeah, exactly, so, exactly. You know, it's that's what I feel like it is. I feel like he just... He looking at it from a local standpoint, like he want Dallas to care. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But shit, if the world care, Yo, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck from Dallas? You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, you know. Yeah. Fuck it, he made it. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> and he had just one. He he had more than one because them bitches were coming back to back kind of. Do you think he'll come back to Dallas and fuck with? He didn't did. He didn't came to these shows in Dallas just for past. Yeah. Have you got it? You think he'll get a half pint for him or oh. he'll get a fuck with some of the? Some of the cats that we normally see coming from the deep. I think he might. Yeah. Yeah, I think he might. He might. You know what I'm saying? That would be hard because. Yeah. You know, but I feel like he could do that. But the only thing, reason why I say it really don't matter because I don't want to say it and then people think that it's mandatory that you have to do that shit because you really don't have to do that nah, shit. Nah, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like people be like, man, he should have came fuck with us, man. Yeah, like, nah, nah, it ain't yeah. mandatory. If you didn't fuck with y'all from the jump, then he don't, don't have, have to. to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Man. Like, man, it would but, look good for the city. Yeah. But That's because y'all behind him now. Right. Y'all behind him. Y'all want to get up there on his nails so and you want to come fuck with you so you can Yeah, yeah. But nah, I, you know, it would be it would be a good look for the underground side of Dallas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he ain't obligated. I don't really feel like he will anyway. Hell nah, man. Look at Big X. Big X, man, I'm going to tell you. Big X is another one right now. Like, Big X, man, really. Big X is doing... What every artist say they're gonna do in the very beginning. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get on. We gonna put me on. I'm gonna put everybody, you know, all my niggas on. Right. That's basically what Big A's doing. He been, he get the real nigga of the year award. <laughs> like, right, 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 like right. they dropped that track, that CD, and like, crazy thing about it, they all jamming on that bitch. But it's like, Rose, Rose, some is standing out he on that motherfucker. Standing out on that whole bitch. No yeah, he stand out on that motherfucker. We, we expect, we expect Big A's to deliver what he did. did. Yeah, he did what he yeah. do. But it's like roll something. It was like, damn, boy, he. Yeah. It's time for us and to hear roll something. Hood, yeah, he, yeah. He, he delivered. Hey, and he, I like how they did it. They got some songs with roll with all three of them. Yeah. Some songs with just roll and, and yeah. Big X. Some yeah. songs with just bro, uh, Hood and him. You know what I'm saying? Then they got Hood got his own song. Roll got definitely it. having fun. With yeah, you, I think I they hear. found their sound. That's what I think. Yeah. They have a sound yeah. that they stick with because them beats they all they beats up tempo, yeah. like live like shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, like Big X them right now. Big X don't have to fuck with nobody nah, if you don't want to. Nah, nah, nah. Not at all. He did all he just do. Like people used to be like, but half paint put him half paint when he did this with that video. He paid for that fucking music review. You know what I'm saying? He paid for that music review. He didn't just give that shit to him. He paid to be on the music review and he won and and it blew up. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't that ain't no half paint. Uh. What you think? That you think that's half paint? That's half paint. Like he did a good uh, deed. You know, he helped. He right. helped some. He helped somebody get to the next level. That's good. To yeah. He so he time. don't owe him nothing. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like I said, Dallas got a, really Dallas got a little juice right now. Yeah. Dallas. We just took because Ziggy not know them. I'm telling you, dog. Them niggas is them niggas. Is on I one. see. I'm you know, I still ain't heard them young cats. Man, you gotta get, you better get on there down there. I still ain't heard them young kids. I got, I got. Cause them boys got some jams. Like them, if you, if you was a fan when Jeezy came up and yeah. like that era, them niggas is like that. Them niggas make you. I'm gonna tell you right now. 
when you hear a zillion out though, and you listen to his album and Montana said, Mom, Hunter, it's going to make you want to sell some dope. <laughs> like, you know how Jeezy did when Jeezy first came out? We remember the yeah, song like, it's era. like, it was, it's like, them niggas going to make you, yeah. like, I, I'd rather them do that all day. Than, and you remember when we back in the day? They used to be like, uh, man, all them niggas do is rapping about getting money. Nigga don't want to rap about right, something else. Right. Then niggas start rapping about something else. Say, oh, they, you know, they, 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 they tired of that shit. But uh, that, that is a good look for Dallas, man. Them niggas is on that. Them niggas they is making me want to sell some dope. Not players, man. Yeah. Not just that mid level. You know, yeah. A, Dallas was mid level for a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got some top notch players that can they can you know succeed with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So man, T Jones from Tyler, Texas. Now this this is new to some people, but it ain't new to all us. Like you know, like. A long time ago, T. Jones did the first Say Cheese interview from East Texas. He was the first nigga that did that. And he said he was the king of East Texas on there. Right, 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 right. A lot of niggas had a lot to say. Uh, a lot of niggas don't even exist no more. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at, like, he's, he's the test of time. time. Yeah, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that. I've like, seen that. yeah, he said that. So how do you feel about that? Uh. You know, you know, I'm a challenger. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a grinder. You know. Yeah. Uh, nobody's opposed it. Yeah. Nobody, uh, nobody's opposed it. Nobody's probably going to oppose it. Where and then what he said, I believe he said something like, uh, "Look at what he's done." And, yeah. And what he's doing now. Yeah. If it checks out. It checks yeah. out. If it check out. It check out. Ain't nothing wrong with the marketing. Somebody need to. Uh, Step their game up. Yeah. You feel what yeah, I'm that's saying? how that's how I feel. I feel like that should have been a man, that is a great motivation tool he yeah. used right there. Yeah, everybody who feel anybody hey. feel different is yeah. speak now, yeah. Phil all your peace. <laughs> <laughs> like shit. That's how he did that shit. And, and ain't nobody really like ain't nobody. nobody yeah, nothing. yeah, ain't nobody, nobody tell you though. Standing on it and shit, he delivering this shit. That's his title. That's what he Yeah, that, that's like when T I said he was yeah. the king of the south. That's a it's lot of us. A thing. lot, a lot of us was like, thing, yeah. ain't no king of the south. Nigga, yeah. Scarface King of the South. That's all we were saying. Yeah, well, you know, Scarface said hey, I ain't even care about it. This a fucking sport. It's almost this. Yeah. So when a nigga say he king of East Texas, you know everybody in the back like Ooh. But who gonna say something? Who gonna say something? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That is what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So and then he also said that be or be or truth was the queen of East Texas. I don't see nobody opposing that lyrically. Lyrically, at all. I don't think so either. I don't see lyrically. I don't see nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah she. I'm telling you, she can. She can. She eye rap some niggas. Oh, easy. Yeah, a lot of niggas. Lot it's of niggas a lot of niggas couldn't do a song with her. Cause they wouldn't know how to come on the song. Like I, I, I honestly it. feel like they're I like it. she she a dog, man. She got them. She went out there and won that money. And if you gonna have somebody in the competition, I, I'm gonna put my money on her. Uh, hell yeah. I know she ready to eat. And she can rap. She can really rap. <laughs> so, yeah, she ain't with the punching in and all that. She rapping. You know, hey. Shit, it is what it is, man. You know, as far as lyrically, I don't think nobody around in the region is fucking with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She definitely one of them ones. Like, who would they say oppose it? I can't name. What would they say? Tay Money? No, bro, because if we talking, if we talking rap, yeah. different. If yeah. we talking popularity, fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. then of course Tay Money. Yeah, you know but what I'm we saying? But we talking about, hey, we finna sit you down, yeah, yeah, yeah. sit her down, and y'all finna make y'all shit. Like, I don't yeah, know, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. about that one. The popularity, but see, like what, we, what, 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 what would we say that if we saying that's that's what qualifies her for the queen, then why shouldn't it qualify? No but I'm saying, like why would that not qualify for the for the for the king? Do you think T. Jones I don't, I don't could? Think, I don't think lyrically T. Jones is saying that. I don't think he's saying it on the mean it like that. Yeah, yeah. Because if we being honest, and I'm just being real, this yeah. is me. Yeah. Like lyrically, I don't care to hear T. Jones. 
Yeah. Because he's not giving me stuff. Yeah, you talking about like some like lyrical. Yeah, 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 that type of so shit. So it's like, you know, when it comes to everything else, the look, yeah. the, the, the accolades, yeah. the, the accomplishments. I mean, he was on the same road the last stage of C-Go-P. Yeah. I ain't seen no other East Texas people do that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit, it matters. Yeah, definitely do. Like, um, man, you you right. I think they pretty much summed it up. Yeah, yeah, man. Like you got you got to give it up because lyrically, lyrically on the female spectrum, if we talking bars and rap. I'ma go with B or two. Uh, and we talking just persona of rap. Then of course I, you know, I can say T Jones. I can say a few other niggas. Too. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But he said it. So it's but like. He, he's the one that made the mark. He's the one that went on the moon. It said, yeah, it said like this is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I yeah, get that's it. why I said like. Like he, like T.I. used to say. If, as long as I send the king. If, what do you say? If uh, my nigga Trick Daddy and Scarface yeah. ain't got nothing to say about it, then can't nobody and say nothing about it. You know what's crazy? Nobody said nothing. I ain't never heard nobody else scream King of the South. Nobody but be Creek. But it's like kind of like they a, I'm make coming. Two different types yeah, of yeah, styles. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we get. It. Yeah. So like, what did you think about? Uh, you know, Mama Scott got the big event coming up. Fast, Fast Bash. Bash. Yeah. All right, and like you know, uh, I had my I was on um Boss Talk, and they were asking me about Mama Scott, and I was like, I feel like she would be get more credit if she was a a male. So, do you agree with that? I'm up and down. With it. Yeah. I'm up and down with it. Uh, I got to keep in mind that Mama Scott is still kind of fresh. Yeah, you feel but. what I'm saying? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a speak from things that I done, you know, kind of seen outside of East Texas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, Mama Scott got what it take to put, put a light on anybody. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But it's the knowing dealings you know what i'm saying she 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 like, that's what i'm saying you gotta look at like you she, gotta weed out a lot of fuck shit still to come out on top but and what i'm she the closest one oh yeah 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 that's what i'm saying out yeah, of yeah. the whole region yeah she the closest one to it who really you know what i'm saying helping putting these putting the light on these artists and stuff so she gotta get through that fucking fire yeah yeah she exactly get exactly that fire and when she get through that fire hell it ain't gonna matter if she a motherfucking woman or a goddamn man or damn who. right she she gonna it's gonna be concrete because so. to be honest if she like the shit she do like i say i always tell people like the main thing people be hating on they be like oh they paying for features and this and i'm like what are you supposed shit, to do i'm gonna say uh the ti song not shit it might have not been popular last year yeah but what about next year when somebody here that's in the position no and, this is the thing this saying? this is like, the cold thing about that i just peeped some shit today yeah t.i just did a freestyle right, right. on um la la leakers or something yeah. he finna get ready to drop an album okay like t.i stepping back out there and there them you best believe when niggas search t.i that song coming up and that bitch gonna come back up and some motherfuckers might hear that motherfucker and that bitch yeah. could jump in. Really, a song could that's jump at any time. Man, you know what I'm saying? You that's what I'm what saying. What a T I got a whole full another run right now. That song goes. It every, jumps. Every one of her artists got a feature from an artist who's in a, a position. Listen, yeah, exactly. So any one of them songs. And they've been all dropped within the last year. Yeah. So it's like at any given time. time here, yeah. You know, it can happen. It can yeah. happen. You know what I'm saying? It's just how they moving it and how yeah. They choose to place the songs and have the placements and however, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. get it, you know, but yeah, for sure. I don't think, like I say, man, her being a woman ain't a factor. You think it's just hate? Just, it's just hate. How it is. It's yeah. hate for sure. But her being a woman, I don't want to call that being a factor when she yeah. has the ability yeah. to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We see it. We like see it. It's dirt. It's, it might not be polished, but it's there. She down there like, like, and then like T. Jones, then like, matter of fact, T. Jones said something about him about stuff. He was like, yeah. uh, anytime he didn't need to reach out with her for a connection in the industry and shit like that, yeah. she was right there with it. Like, yeah, yeah, I think connect the dots and shit. Yavo and the one's name, the Big, big Ed. Like, yeah, like, just yeah. for him, just, you know what I'm saying, just linking them into top, top song. Hey, yeah, and, and she so, linked him to that shit. Yeah. 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 So that's, 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 that's,
it's kind of damn near like the stars align. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's more of that. Yeah. Some, like, yeah. Conglomerate shit. Yeah. Like, she's the closest one to it. So, yeah. It's, uh, like, I think it should be no reason why you couldn't have nobody do that in Texas. Like, it should be some, it should be a couple, at least 10 people in Texas, as far as like a unit or a panel or whatever you want to call it. That, like, if a nigga jamming in this state, nigga can just put their hands on it, boom, make that shit happen. Is, we need an is. infrastructure like it, that. It, it is. It's not, that's the thing. It's not, it's not organized. <laughs> Y'all as bloggers, yeah. same shit. Like yeah. y'all have the ability to do that. Yeah. Of course, we know in Texas, yeah. Sean Cotton is yeah. the top blogger. Yeah. But shit, he already established. Hell yeah. All the smaller bloggers can get together and really, you know, do yeah. some shit. But you know, even even with that, you know, it's just the artist too. The artist got to be willing and able. You feel me? Who you listen to in East Texas right now? East Texas. Like honestly, right now, what artists are you listening to? Like, Here size lately. your size your artists. What artists are you listening Here to? Lately, it's been back in Dino. Okay. Ain't gonna lie, I've been, I've been liking a lot of back in Dino. Uh, before him, I was I was jamming a little bit of uh, say look out you. Okay, yeah. You know, he had dropped the album. He had dropped the album right around the same time we did Polyseph. Yeah. So I had to give it a listen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and both of them yeah. hoes are jamming. Oh. Uh, Shout out to uh, the ladies, uh, Smitty Hawkins, and Journey, and Gabby Giovanni. I checked out all their pro projects. Yeah. You know, no, nothing against the ladies. You know, I love the ladies, but you know, I, I'm not just jamming. I got had to get y'all a listen because I know y'all live. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, uh, but they got some hard shit, especially Smitty. She got a hard ass singer. I feel like it's a damn good singer. Me too. That's what I, I said. I, I feel, feel like, like that bitch, one of them, it's like one of them songs, it's one of them yeah. ones. Like, yeah. Any song that make you revisit time in life in yeah. the club is a is is a bad motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Smitty, she got something with this one that she just dropped. Her and Juice yeah. been working quietly behind the scenes, seeing like it's, it's policy. Yeah, it's it's policy. Yeah, but yeah. Most definitely back in Bino. Yeah, back in Bino up here lately. It's been, it's been one hundred. In Houston right now, they they've been dropping some shit. Houston, really, Houston, man. I'm gonna tell you something. I think Houston don't never fall off. Like as a whole, it's yeah, it's like big. they never fall it's off. They're gonna have some fucking life. Some way, somehow. <laughs> Cause nigga be like, they just got back on the map. Nigga, they had Travis, uh, Travis Scott, nigga. Yeah. That's a Houston nigga. I don't give a damn how that Max O Cream. Yeah. All them nigga like they they gonna have somebody. They gonna to, have somebody. And if it ain't, if they not directly from Houston, they from the outskirts of Houston. Like, yeah, like, like that Mexican OT. T, yeah, he's from the outskirts, but he popping in there. Man, room. he brought Texas back with his album. He did what niggas did. So he did what niggas should have been doing. He connected with every fucking area in Texas except for East Texas. Mixing OT, you gotta focus somebody from East. You need to focus somebody from that area. You know, I did. You know, I did a show. I had a show in uh, New Caney, Texas, man. Uh, shout out LOE Turtle, uh, one of the artists I used to manage, man. She you uh, she used to do a show out there at the Texas Whitfit. Yeah. At this little nice ass motherfucking water park, and this was before me that Mexican OT was a big, big, a yeah. big artist before like Johnny Dang and all that oh shit. Oh my god, bro! And just seeing him from then to now. the word he had now. Hey, that's one. That's one. Hell. Nah, that's one of them things I be telling people all the time, man. Anytime a nigga could just really one song away at all time. Bro, he said out there, you didn't probably talk to this nigga and probably he was probably humble, didn't know you probably know who he was. You like Bro, he was very humble. He got on that stage humbly. Like he was talking to the crowd. And, and now you see this nigga, he rocking the arenas down there. That's funny as fuck. He coming to Tyler too. Yeah. He coming to Tyler, July 14th. I would definitely be in the building. Like that boy had trap zero in him. He he had the young uh Tex nigga, the old Tex niggas. He everybody. He did what he was supposed to. Yeah, I, I will say that. Cal Wayne just got one. Man, what you think about my six rings? My six rings little formula, how I'm doing. I like that. Yeah. I like how you're doing that. That's yeah. What, that give us that vintage vibe of Source. Yeah, Source, See, Double XL. Young cats, they don't know nothing about that. Yeah. That shit used to be like how you go to Say Cheese. To yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the magazine. Exactly. That's what we missing. Now you got somebody who's doing this shit like that. Yeah, bro. They give a motherfucker something to go. I'm trying to get six rings at yeah. the real talk. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get six rings. And, and the thing is, it's going to challenge rappers really kind of like to, to make better projects. Man, I'm telling you, yeah. that punching in shit is cool. It's cool. 
But like, man, I'm going to tell you, I ain't never heard a punch in song that stuck with me forever like that. I'm going to say, I didn't heard maybe a few in here and there, but I'm saying like, I can't say fail because niggas just start doing that shit really like that. You know what? I believe it became popular. It's been a thing. I'm going to tell you where I think it became popular. Where? Hood Rich Pablo won. He had the best punch in flow that you could possibly have. Yeah, you're right. He was the person, when I was introduced to Hood Rich Pablo won, I was like, what the fuck? This yeah. nigga rapping over his raps. Yeah. Like he just, yeah. like, that was my first time hearing that shit. So, but it was hit. Yeah. So you know now it's just popular. Niggas feel like they freestyling because they punching in. I, me personally, I don't feel like that's freestyling. You wasting time thinking about bars in the studio. Yeah. Time is money. We all man, I, that's why I, I, I mean, like I feel like man, when you put that pen to that pad or type it or whatever you do it like. The music, like, man, I'ma be honest. I think that they they killed the they killed the 316, the format for a song. The format for a song has always and always will be 316. But now they try to make it like you want song two minutes type shit. Yeah, like bro, like Yeah, like nigga. <laughs> but I got a thing though, like the long I know in YouTube views and you know shit like that, like all kind of social media views, how you get paid off them is the longer the video, the more money you can make out that bitch. Mm, really? That's yeah, it's like like if you if you build if you if you if you do a video on YouTube for three minutes, it can do ten thousand views. It ain't gonna make the same thing as a ten minute video that right. got that many views. Right. Because you got you basically you got a motherfucker focused on it for the retention. Time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what's up. So like I would feel like I feel like a, a regular song would probably. Probably would make more, but I don't know how streams work. Nobody knows how streams work, really. No. That's the coldest that, thing. That, that, and I, and you know, I wanted to change so bad. Yeah. Because accumulating yeah. the streams yeah. is is like, bro, that's like a fucking rabbit hole. Bro. Yeah. It's a rabbit hole. They need to do something about it, especially Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Y'all. I think they need to man. show us something. How? Uh, show us how y'all do. How are we getting paid? How are people getting paid off stream? People getting paid off stream through the district. No, I'm saying I want to know how much, like. How much? Like, okay, you say, they telling you you getting, just say you do so many streams. What is what how, what, what they say get you $10,000 a stream? Oh, God damn. Like $10 million or something like that? Yeah, stream like a month. Yeah, but, but what I'm know, saying is, what I, I want to see how is that based. You know what I was thinking too? It's the faster. <laughs> The streams too, and might the, be and right. The, and the and the lit, the, the it's duration. the same thing with YouTube videos. Like yeah. when you put a video out there, it might not spike then, but when it spikes at a certain time, if it stays up there for a while, you're gonna make more money. That's that's what I think is going on because you know I done got fifty thousand streams. Yeah, but over time, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but what I'm thinking is, you know, if you got them fifty in, drop, in a week. Yeah, that fifty in a week, and it's just maintaining fifty or it's steady it's growing. growing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now you talking about shit five thousand or maybe five hundred to two thousand dollar payouts, three thousand dollar payouts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like now you talking like so. I I think that's what it is. Maybe you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know. But man. The main thing is we want to know how we getting paid though. Like, I want to know how, like, what's the format to getting paid for a stream? I don't, and then, you know, I tell a lot of artists don't even focus on the stream. I tell the artists. Yeah, but at you, some point you have to think about it like, man, just think about these niggas making millions on these streams. Like, Drake, just say Drake made, just say he made off of his last album he made, just say he made five million off of that motherfucker. How much does the label make? What what part of the pie am I getting? Is what I'm saying. Like like, yeah. if I'm getting this much. Why you did? Why what you getting? If you getting this twenty million, then so how much was the pie? Right. You know what I'm saying. I need to know how much the pie is. Yeah. You won't know how much the pie is unless you sitting at the table. Exactly. And if you ain't sitting at the table, ain't no point in asking no goddamn questions if you're getting paid. <laughs> Don't ask no questions. Let me get your, <laughs> give me your top ten southern hip hop albums of all time. Damn, that's a lot. Damn, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get uh, Ghetto Dope, Master P. Yeah. Uh, Riding Dirty UGK. On here and say Missy Elliott, Super Duper Fly. Mm, nice one, nice yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Aquimini. 
Outcast. Okay. Soul Food, Goody Mob. Uh, shit, Thug Motivation 101, Young Jeezy. Uh, uh, Kings of Crunk. Yeah, okay. Kings of Crunk, Lil John, Eastside Boys. Uh, 400 Degrees, Juvenile. And uh, somebody that I feel like molded a different sound for Louisiana, uh, Webby, Savage Life. Okay. Savage Life. And my last one, Project Pat, Mr. Don't Play. Okay. Yeah. That's 10. Yeah. Sound of 10. So you ain't got no Luda. No. No T.I. Mm. No Texas. Uh, you ain't got no Big Mo, City mm. Serve. You, um, you don't got no... Uh, no Lil Wayne Carter, you ain't got no plies, no oh, Rick Ross, oh. no uh, Trick Daddy, no A-Ball MJG, no uh, Yo Gotti don't got nothing in there. Uh, Damn, Yo Gotti, I forgot uh, about Yo Gotti. Um, um, who else? Uh, yeah, you just left out a few, man. Damn. So, as far as Impulse Entertainment, what do you have going for yourself right now? Right now, I'm shooting a short film uh, to a single that I'm gonna get ready to get ready to release called Exodus. Why is it called Exodus? <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. You gotta see. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep posting. You know what I'm saying? Keep. We gonna keep you posted on everything coming. Yeah, I think everybody gonna like it though, man. It's a uh, it's new. You know, we 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 doing some acting. We taking it uh to a di yeah we taking it to a different level. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. You act, so you act. Um, what um like um man, what you think, man? Like we always talk about this shit, but man, like, what do you think is the problem? Why East Texas just ain't it just ain't hit you? Motherfuckers need to get some money. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's just it, you know. Motherfuckers need to get some money, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when you got money, you you got ideas, and you go look for resources, and you, you do the things you need to do because you're able to do them as a rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, you know. Rappers need to find a way to make them some money, keep them a, keep them a good, steady flow of money because this shit costs. It's very costly, you know, to chase your dreams. For sure. <laughs> Who you think the hottest rapper in Texas is right now? In the whole state of Texas? Like, on what level? Because we know there's two different levels. There's two hottest. different... We said hottest. Hottest in Texas, man. I'm going to go with... Uh, who putting the most motherfucking people in them seats right now and doing these shows and all that shit and everything like and really got motherfuckers listening to that shit? That's a good question, bro. I'm trying to think, uh, if if that's the case, I mean post Malone. Nah, I'm not gonna even do that shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna even do that shit. Not even just cause he's white, just I don't even think. I've ever heard anybody listening to that nigga. Yeah. Um, damn, probably Megan, bro. You think Megan right now? Megan. Mm. Probably Megan, bro. So you don't think Big X on OT? They on the way. OT is on the way. Big X is on the way. But right and now, I bats. think. Four bats. Like hottest right now. We ain't saying like the biggest rap. We saying it's hottest right now. Obas definitely got something going. I don't know if he just. I I honestly feel like. You thought he was in industry. On the I did I did explain, I definitely explain thought, why you thought he was in industry. Cause you from Dallas, right? And we do know there's different ways to move in this game. We just. That's there's totally different ways than just your average one to link with niggas and not do shit. You feel what I'm saying? But you from Dallas and you just basically 
made a song. You just made a song, and all of a sudden, Kanye West, Drake, you and your name being mentioned just in places, niggas damn near got to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars just for a conversation. It was it was it sparked curiosity, nigga. Like yeah. you, and then the, that part of Dallas that you talking about, nigga. What? And don't know, nigga. Niggas ain't even mention you. But they know him when he's when he's pulled up in his hood, though. You know, he got the whole video where yeah. he in the hood and everything, yeah. on the street, on the, and on some, that's crazy. yeah. Nah, nah, that's uh, yeah, that's crazy, bro. It's crazy to think that some shit like that can happen. But you know, hey, shit, he proved he proved me wrong. Shit, he just did what he was supposed to do. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> moved, moved like a fucking, uh, what you call it? Moved, moved uh, very strategic. Facts. Actually yeah. trying to get it done. Mm. Well, man, I guess, man, until we chop it up again, man, shit, I guess we'll wrap it up, man. You know, uh, you named them, them albums, man, and I kind of left a lot of them off. That 10 right? a solid 10, though. Yeah, that 10... Solid. That 10 uh, uh, had your car banging for a solid four or five hours. Yeah. Nah, that had more, your car more, banging. More, nah, I say 10 hours. Probably, four probably, days. probably. Because all them bitches front to back. All through that bitch. No whack ass songs, nigga. Straight up, man. With shit, for the people who don't know how to reach, how can they reach on there, man? Man, you can get at me on Instagram at BP the CEO. Uh, goddamn, follow us at Impulse Entertainment. That's impulse underscore ent man on instagram and facebook hey man tap in hey any nigga getting money i ain't caring you man if i ain't feeling your shit i ain't sharing it if you feel the shoe fit nigga wear it and you boys been hey but ain't worried bring, bring straight to you like door dash and i'm still in the hood like a doorman they say it's gonna drip check your forecast i've been hot i lay 